Hello, I am Abdul Q and I am going to present the segmentation of the myocardium on late collodinium Hassmann MRI based on 2.5D residual skews and excitation deep learning model. Uh, here is the list of authors and their affiliation. First, I will discuss uh, the brief introduction about the myocardium and myocardial infraction. Myocardium infraction or heart attack is a life threatening condition that occurs due to uh, blood stopped to the heart. Therefore, it is necessary to do segmentation of myocardium that will further use for the validation of myocardium infraction and other heart disease. Late millennium Hassmann MRI is the highest resolution technique that is widely used for the assessment of myocardium and myocardium infraction. That's why we are using uh, LG MRI dataset in this study. The main objective of uh, this project is to develop an automatic and accurate segmentation model based on deep learning for the segmentation of myocardium and that will further use for the assessment uh, of the myocardium infraction. Uh, we have used uh, QIR software developed by the Kisses company uh, uh, for uh, manual countering of uh, myocardium uh, that is based on endocardium and the epicardium. Uh, the experienced cardiologist uh, that have more than 14 year experience uh, provided 348 cases uh, from uh, University Hospital Dijon, France in this study. We have used 320 cases for the training and the validation and 28 cases for the testing. Moreover, we have inter-observer and intra-observer annotation for 28 uh, patients uh, in order to validate uh, further our proposed model. So our proposed model is based on 2.5D segmentation. Uh, the complete process is based on three number of steps. So in first step, uh, we stack three consecutive slices from input uh, uh, image slices uh, in order to make RGB-like image, which is called 2.5D or uh, 3D pseudo uh, technique. In second step, uh, we introduce some residual block and uh, skills and excitation block in the encoded side of our proposed model and stack these uh, block with equal number of feature maps uh, using the special convolutional layer at the decoder side. This special convolutional uh, layer abstract the uh, contextual information in order to produce the better segmentation map. So in third step, uh, we train model with different set of hyperparameters and based on experimental evaluation, we uh, selected the top three models and passed these top three models uh, to the ensemble method, which is based on majority voting uh, technique. Uh, so this uh, majority voting uh, technique produced uh, the output segmentation map uh, that is uh, the best map produced for uh, our method. Our method achieved the better dice similarity coefficient as compared to inter-observer uh, study and uh, very close to the intra-observer study as you can see in the table. Uh, we also uh, validate our model using different statistical analysis uh, tests. Uh, here we have used the correlation coefficient that is calculated between uh, surface area of uh, uh, predicted segmentation map and the ground truth segmentation map and we also uh, calculated the mean and standard deviation uh, using the band ultimate plot. Uh, so these statistical analysis validated our proposed model produce uh, better performance as compared to the other state of the art uh, deep learning model. As you can see our proposed ensemble model achieved better uh, dissimilarity coefficient as compared to the other state-of-the-art deep learning models such as uh, UNET and the FractalNet as you can see in the uh, output feature maps in this figure. So in conclusion, uh, we proposed ensemble based uh, 2.5D model for the uh, segmentation of myocardium based on 2.5D uh, LGMRI dataset. Uh, further, we will explore uh, different uh, 2D deep learning models and especially uh, we are focusing on the 3D segmentation model for the volumetric segmentation. Further, we will use uh, uh, the myocardium segmentation for the assessment of myocardium infraction and other heart disease in uh, Fisher study. Uh, so here is the end of my presentation.